up guys, my name is Devin Wynn. Welcome to 11% Tutorials. Today, I'm gonna teach you guys how you can create this sick stack up effect for your music videos, highlight reels, hike reels, whatever you're working on. It's a really fun way to just spice up your video footage, make things feel a lot more faster and just cooler in general. I love to use this specifically for music videos or you can even use this on like even real estate videos or like buildings and structures. It's a really, really fun tactic and trick. Really quickly, shout out to three special creators who inspired this tutorial, Meech, Jackson Wigger Visuals, and the Transition Ninja. These guys really master this effect and locked it down. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can create an effect similar to this. It's really, really simple. All you'll be needing today is After Effects. We will be using a little bit of Sapphire plugin today, but it's really minimal stuff that you can recreate on your own. But before we get started, if you guys are new to this channel, please be sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe if you find this video interesting. It's free. All this content is free. So really, it means a lot. And which speaking of, if you guys are also interested in spicing up your music videos with better effects, graphics, title cards, motions, LUT packs, etc., definitely make sure to check out the 11% net store. It's there I literally spill all the sauce on how to create sick looking music videos. I really dump like a lot of my time and effort and energy. We even have a full course there on how to make music videos start to finish. Really, I dump my all into it. So please, really, if you could check that out, it'd really mean a lot to me. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. Let's go. All right, guys. So now that we're finally inside of Premiere Pro, the first thing that we're going to do is we are actually going to duplicate this layer two times. So you can hit Command D, Command D twice, and then you'll have three versions of your duplicated layer. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to want to go ahead and get rid of Uzi right here. Whatever that subject is, you want to go ahead and get rid of it. How do we do that? Generate fill layer in After Effects. Now, if you don't know what content generate fill layer is in After Effects, we're going to show you really quickly how to do that. And I'm also going to show you really quickly how you can use a new AI tool, how to remove unwanted subjects in your scene. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to turn off the visibility of our two top layers. And on this bottom layer right here, we're going to come to the very, very beginning frame. And we are going to click the good old fashioned pen tool. Draw a very, very, very rough mask around my subject. And then I'm just going to scroll ahead and make sure that Uzi stays inside of this mask the whole time. I don't really want to add any animation to it right now just because it takes too long. Once I see that Uzi is inside mask for the entirety of the shot, I'm going to go ahead, hit the drop down on this bottom layer and change the mask type from add to subtract. Make sure you're in window, workspace, all panels. And I'm going to come over here to my content aware fill button. Make sure that your fill method is on surface and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click generate fill layer. Now what After Effects is going to do is it's going to start analyzing our scene and it's going to start creating an artificially intelligence version of the background of what it imagined is behind Uzi so that we can pretty much remove Uzi from the scene. Boom and now as you can see our first frame has already generated and you can see it's this nice little weird morphed like background but really quickly I'm going to show you one last tool I like to use this is called runway Com. This is an AI video editor. And basically what you can do is you can go ahead and drag your video footage inside of their editor right here. And you can see there's so many AI options they have right here. This one right here is the in painting and you can simply just paint over your subject and AI will generate and then completely entirely removed background for you. And it's cut all completely for free. Your first three projects are free. After that, they have a paid version, but really it's an insane video editor for AI tools. It's really crazy just the stuff that's going on right now, but I definitely recommend you check it out if you don't want to wait all that time for After Effects. After Effects is going to go ahead and render out the rest of our scene. So we're just going to go ahead and speed this up. And boom, now that After Effects is completely done rendering, you're going to see that we now have a completely empty blank slate screen right here. Uzi is gone and our background is just like morphed into this weird looking trippy thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the visibility of my top two layers. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to select my layer two and I'm going to come over here to edit and label this and let's set this to like a pink color just so we can tell the difference between which layer we're animating and which is going to be the real video clip. Now it's the fun part. I want you to choose a clip or a freeze frame that you want to animate and then we're going to have the rest of the video play after that. This scene right here where he's like closing his eyes and then after that he kind of opens his eyes. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and animate our scene. I'm going to select both of these top two layers, trim them down exactly to the frame where we want our video to start playing, select the bottom pink layer. I'm going to right click it, select time, and I'm going to hit freeze frame. Now what basically just happened is if you drag this frame back out and you extend it again, you'd see that it's just completely frozen. And now we can finally go ahead and animate and add some animation to this. I'm just going to go ahead and delete the end of this freeze frame just so that the video will play out simultaneously. I'm going to have Uzi kind of like stack up like a little like block Lego animation or something. I go ahead and rename all these layers just to make sure that I got everything organized. So I'm just going to go ahead and name this one 
head. And then I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna rename the second one body. And then I'm gonna duplicate it again by hitting Command D and I'm gonna rename this one to legs. Once again, we're gonna grab our good old fashioned pen tool and let's just get to masking. Simply draw a really, really rough mask around all these body parts. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just mask out Uzi's legs right here and boom, there we go. If you wanna make sure you're masking everything properly, you can go ahead and just select the isolation dot thing and then it'll just show you exactly what you're affecting on this one layer. So boom, there we go, we have his legs. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mask out his body. So I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this section up, but just do a fairly decent job masking and you should be honestly pretty good. And voila, once we have everything completely masked out, trim everything down so that I kind of have some nice order to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead by selecting everything. Let's have the legs pop in in this like first few frames. And then I'm just going to select the bottom two layers below it. And then I'll have the body appear and then the head will be the last item to like stack up. So now you can see we have a nice base to our animation. Let's go ahead and actually add some movement to this. Right before the body appears, I'm gonna start with this keyframe. I'm gonna hit the drop down. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to simply hit a keyframe on the position and scale on the last frame. And then I'm gonna go to the very beginning and then I'm just gonna drag the position down. Let's see something like that. And now you can see if we play out the animation, some very static animation, but we can go ahead and add some like dynamic movement to this. The way you're gonna do so is you're gonna select the graph icon right here. And then you're gonna go ahead and select the easy ease icon. Now basically what this is gonna do is this is gonna make the animation feel a lot more smoother and like natural. I'm gonna go ahead and click the graph editor to exit. Now let's go ahead and add some animation to the rest. I'm gonna go ahead once again to the end of my body keyframe animation, hit the drop down. Let's close the drop down on the legs. Hit the drop down on transform and then let's go ahead and set those keyframes on position and scale. Go to the very beginning. And then for this body part, I'm actually gonna scale it down just a tad bit and then like move it under behind the legs. So that way when the animation plays out like it's like his body is under his legs and it, I don't know, it's just a kind of fun, cool way to mess around with some of these effects. Once again, I'm gonna go ahead, hit the graph editor and then right click all of these and then use the keyframe assistant and set them to easy ease. Then once again, go ahead, close the graph editor. Let's add some last animation to his headpiece right here. So we're just gonna go ahead, do the same thing that we've always been doing. Hit the drop down on transform, scale, position, and let's go ahead and make his head like Actually, we can just use this the, the scale. This will be a kind of fun one. And there, that way his head kind of just like pops up, it scales into place. And that's kind of a fun way to do it. Let's go ahead, of course, add some easy ease to that. And voila, very rough style stacking animation to it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply just hit the motion blur icon on all of our pink layers, just so that we have some nice organic motion blur to it. And if we play it out, Boom, there we go. Now it's kind of looking a little bit more real. I'm going to select both of my bottom layers. I'm going to right click them and I'm just going to pre-compose them. I'm gonna call this the background layer. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and select everything, including this background. I'm just gonna pre-compose this and I'm just gonna call this final edit. I'm gonna hit okay and boom, there we go. Now we're on our final edit pre-comp right here. Now it's time to actually add some camera movement to this. I'm not gonna use an After Effects camera. It's just, I don't know, I just don't really like it. I'm gonna go ahead and search for my effects for a transform, apply a transform effect to my pre-composition. And then I'm gonna use the Sapphire Shape. Now, if you don't have Sapphire, you can resort to other means of adding some shape to your animation. But the Sapphire Shake, I really love it. You can see right here, it's already going crazy, adding some crazy shake to this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first turn this shake off and then I'm going to just simply add some scale in. And then I'm simply gonna just add like a zoom out animation to my effect. So I'm just gonna hit the keyframe on the transform at the very end. And then I'm just gonna zoom in a tad bit. So then when you play it out, there's like this nice zoom out animation to it. And now let's go ahead and add some shake. I want the shake to occur specifically when the like the head pieces like pop up. So to do this, what I'm gonna do, turn my shake on. I'm going to create some nice keyframes for it. I'm gonna hit the drop down on effects and the drop down on shake. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make sure my amplitude is set to about 0.7, like right around here. And I'm gonna hit a keyframe on that. And then I'm gonna go a couple frames before and set it to zero. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move a couple keyframes ahead, set it to zero again. And then I'm just gonna select all of them, copy them, and then just paste them again 
a head. So now we have this nice shake animation. Lastly, I'm gonna go inside of this pre-comp and for this background layer right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a sapphire puddle effect. I'm just gonna go ahead and add this warp puddle to this and decrease the frequency a bunch. And let's go ahead and keyframe some of this phase. So let's do the phase start at zero and I'll go ahead and end around four. And then towards the very beginning, we're just gonna go ahead and set both of them to zero. And if I go to this final animation edit right here, you can see that we have this crazy stack up effect. And lastly, guys, of course, I'm sorry. One last effect just to really top it off. I'm just going to go ahead and add some sapphire dissolve rays or a nice like flash, whatever you prefer. I'm going to go ahead and set some keyframes at the dissolve percent at zero, move a couple frames into it. And then let's go ahead and increase that dissolve percent to something like 20. And then once again, back down to zero. And now you can see if we played out, we have this nice flash at the end. It really just helps top things off and with that guys there you have it the full stack up effect here is the final effect if you guys made it to the end of the video thank you again so 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 much for watching i hope at the end of this you guys will walk away with an effect that you can use for your future projects and music videos if you had any questions or concerns please be sure to leave a comment down below i love to hear what you guys have to say if you haven't already please be sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe with the notification bell on it really means the world to me guys and once again we do sell all our presets and packs on our store website at 11percent.net if you guys want to save the time of having to watch these full tutorials i literally just have all the presets ready for you guys there make sure to check it out 11 percent Net. Once again, thanks so much for watching guys and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.